Hey there, it's Jennifer McGuire. I have another product release close-up video for you today. A lot of people asked for this one. This is the look at the newest Hero Arts. Now this is not the complete release because the release is really large. I just took some of my favorites to highlight in this video and give you some ideas to use them. I gotta move fast because there is a lot to share. So if you are interested in the products, I have them linked below and you can head over to my blog where there is a lot more information including a giveaway. Let's start first with the stamps. There are lots of color layering stamp sets in this release. Those are the types of stamps that you can layer on top of each other to create something beautiful. I really like the goldfish set. I think this is my favorite from this release because you could layer any two ink colors on top of each other and come up with a color, fun colored fish. I think it'd be fun to do the first layer in a color and the second layer in maybe gold embossing powder for something fun and different. There are lots of other pieces in the stamps so you can create a scene also. So I think you'll be seeing a lot of samples using this and there is a die set available if you're interested. Now the nice thing about the Hero Arts dies in this release is if you look, the cutting edge is right up against the edge of the die. So when you put the die in place, you know exactly where it's gonna cut. It's gonna cut along that inside edge, which really helps with positioning. Next up is the Color Layering Orchid in Pot. This one I did really quick, so forgive the poor stamping. I think this one would be fun to add a, the last layer, the top layer of this, to stamp with Versamark ink and then brush on some perfect pearls so you have a little bit of shine on the center of these little orchids. I also like that this end results in an image that's really large and fills a card. You can change up the colors and get a lot of different looks with it. You can layer embossing powders. You could even put touches of foil in the center of these flowers. I also really like the leaves in here. There are three images that layer on top of each other and I hope to use those leaves along with some other flower images that I have. I also like that the pot is included and there's a couple sentiments too. So this is one of those stamp sets that really fills a card and it's all you need to finish the card. And of course, there are coordinating dies available also. Next, we have the Color Layering Bouquet Set. This is fun, check this out. You stamp the three images and three different colors together and check out how quickly you have a colorful bouquet. Now, you could stamp this repeatedly and fill up the background of a card if you wanted to or die cut a shape from it. There's also the stems that you can stamp. I stamped the little bow on there too, but I think it'd be fun to instead glue a real bow there or die cut a bow to put at the base of the bouquet. There's also some beautiful sentiments in there. I think this one would be beautiful, just simply heat embossed for a simple card. There's another orchid color layering set in this release. That's the large orchid. Now, some people have mentioned that they don't have a lot of ink colors for layering. What you can do is use the same ink. And for the second image, you double stamp it. And for the third image, you triple stamp it. Or you can use like a light gray ink or a white ink for one of the layers. So you can get more out of just a few colors and they work perfect with these color layering sets. Here, I'm stamping the purple several times to make it really dark there in the center. And look how realistic this orchid looks. If you've had trouble with any stamp layering sets in the past, this is a good one because it's really easy to figure out how to line up the images each time for stamping. You don't need a stamp positioner or anything to use it. I like that this set also includes some little buds too, so you can create a beautiful scene. Next we have the Color Layering For You Flowers. I really love the leaves in this one. You can use it to create like a leaf background, a more masculine look if you wanted to. I also really like the Just For You because it's small and can fit into tight areas, and the Hello Beautiful is really classy also. This would be a good set to stamp with Distress Ink and then add a little water to give it a watercolor look. Okay, so now we're on to the non-stamp layering stamp sets. This is the Origami Animals. Now you could do simple cards with this, but what I think would be fun is to maybe heat emboss three times in a row that butterfly, and then use watercolors to fill in bright colors into all of those areas and make it look like a stained glass look. So you can get a completely different feel out of the stamp set. And of course, there are coordinating dies that are very detailed that go with this. Next is a birthday stamp set, Make a Wish. I'm always looking for better birthday stamp sets and I really like this one. I like that happy birthday, it's large, it really fills a card. And also there's that cake that you can build up by just stamping it in a few different ink colors. I also really like that there are a bunch of flowers in here, lots of little images, so you could create a non-birthday card using those little flower images also to create a fun background or just some accents around your sentiment. 
Now, if you really like the idea of building a cake, there is the birthday cake layering set. This one, you can literally create a cake that looks pretty much however you want. You can stamp all the pieces in different colors. You could put little polka dots on it, some fancy icing, different things on top of the cake. I think this would be great to just do in different colors of embossing powder to create a really simple and fun birthday card. Once again, there are coordinating dies available. Next we have the balloon animal birthday set. I like that there are the outline and solid images so you can just stamp those on top of each other and you have your coloring all done or you can use them separately. I plan to stamp them together and then just add a little bit of highlighting to the solid area by softly using a white colored pencil. I really like to make little notes for my kids. I do this a lot. So I really liked the lunchbox notes. Now there are all these cute little critters that you can stamp with colorful ink, but even the sentiments alone are fantastic because you could use those with other images you have also. Great for little quick kids cards. Another set that would be good for kids or even adults, and especially for masculine cards, is hipster animals. You can stamp all these fun animals and then put hats or mustaches or glasses on them. It's just fun and playful, and I think this would be great for creating masculine birthday cards. I like doing my masculine cards very simple and clean and kind of playful, and I think this fits the bill. My favorite non-layering stamp set from this release is the You're So Lovely. I just think it's beautiful. I love the images and the sentiments in it. I think that the images are a little bit solid, makes them good for techniques. And I actually have a video that I'll be showing using the coordinating dies also. And I'll be showing how to create this card here. So stay tuned for that. And again, there are coordinating dies available for this set. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you know the other kind of stamp set that I'm really crazy about are sentiment stamp sets, especially when there's a bunch of small ones that cover a bunch of different holidays and occasions. And this is a new one from Hero Arts, Many Everyday Messages. And you can see there are a great variety of fonts in here, which is something you don't see often. So there are lots of different styles. So you're bound to find what you need in this set. Now, one of the car types of cards that I seem to make the most is encouragement cards. I love sending cards to encourage people when they least expect it. And there are two sets from this Hero Arts release that are great for that. Dare to Dream is one. I like the sentiments in here that say, you got this, rock the world, get it girl, be fearless, set your own path. These can all be great for encouragement cards. Another set that would be great for encouragement is Hello Gorgeous. It's got the you can do this, you're freaking awesome, heck yes, you're killing it. Lots of things that are great to just tell someone you're thinking of them and cheering them on. Sometimes I get tired of reaching for the same sentiment, so I was really excited to see these sets. There are a few house building type stamp sets in this release. The two on the left I'll show you a little bit later on in this video because there are dies to go with it. One, this one here is called The Town Essentials. Now this is fun because you can build a scene with the little houses, the trees, the lake, the boat, and there are lots of little sentiments that are fun to add to just about any card. This release also included a bunch of planner stamp sets from Kelly Perky. Be sure to check them out. This one caught my eye in particular because it works for cards too. I really like that super mom that you can add to any sentiment to encourage a fellow mom. There's also the bird with a french fry that says happier than a bird with a french fry, which I really like that sentiment. I have it hanging in my office. And then some other encouraging sentiments that would work great for cards or for your planner. This release also includes some small stamp sets from Leah Griffith. Now these are smaller. I have two in a pocket here, but they are sold separately. So the price point is smaller because they are smaller. Now this one, Enjoy Fruit, I think is really cute. It'd be fun to gold heat emboss that on watercolor paper and just do some messy watercolor to add to it and create a fun background. There's also the Oh Happy Day, which my daughter of course loves to color in those fun little ice cream cones and such. This Just For You set is sitting on my desk because I think it would be great to create a really neat, colorful, repeated background pattern. So you can use different colors of ink to create maybe a rainbow of flower patterns just for a bold, colorful background. This Spring Hello set is beautiful because of the flowers that you can create, like a bouquet of flowers or tiny little accents here and there. But that Hello sentiment is one of the most beautiful sentiments I've seen in a long time. It's very detailed and absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to try stamping it with a glue and then putting gold foil on it. I think that would be really pretty. 
Okay, now at Christmas time, Hero Arts came out with some tags with sentiments that were holiday focused. Now there are some that you could use anytime. So these are great for creating beautiful tags to put on cards or gifts. So the die, the die and the stamps come together. You can use them separately if you wanted to. And these are great for shaker windows also. So you can see the sentiments fit across that little banner there on the little tag. And here is a heart version also. This is the floral heart tag. And then there is also the thank you tag. Again, the stamps and the dies come together in these sets, which really makes them useful because they can be used together or separately. Hero Arts also has always had little tubs of stamps, and now they have some mini tubs. These are also from Leah Griffith, and there's a few of these that I think are really fun. There's lots of stamps in here, there's some tags, and there's also an ink cube. I'm a, I'm a big fan of woodblock stamps, so these are really fun to use, and I like to give these in little gift bags also. So first we have the Nature Mini Tub, and then this one is the Flower Garden. This would be great for creating a fun floral background or just little accents, especially to put on envelopes that for cards that you're sending out. And also note that the tubs have different things in them. So this one actually has some pearls and this little ink cube that has four different colors on it. In this travel mini tub, the two that really caught my eye here are the hello and wish you were here, which again would be great on envelopes. Now I mentioned I give these as gifts sometimes. I just take a little cellophane bag, put a few of these in here with an ink cube, tie a ribbon around the top. And it's a great gift for friends. And I also give them as party favors in my kids' classes a lot, and they love them. Now this one is really fun for us. It's all handmade little images. So you could stamp these on the back of cards or on little tags for anything that you create. And I wanted to show you, even though these are super tiny images, they stamp beautifully because they are um, the red rubber, which always stamps nicely. That handmade and that created with love are fantastic for the back of cards. So I'm going to be using this mini tub definitely the most. My other favorite of the mini tubs is the love letter. Now this has little cards and envelopes that come in it. But what's fun about this is all the stamps are designed to stamp on your envelopes. So there's the to and the from. There's also one that says love letter, one that has sealed with a kiss, one that says special delivery, and one that is really absolutely adorable. And that is the little envelope with the heart on it. Now for many, many years, Hero Arts has had l alphabet stamps, these little red rubber wood mounted stamps, and they've always been popular and they're so much fun to use. They've come out with a few different designs now, and they even have this one that comes in the wooden box. This again would be another great gift to give to somebody. Just put a ink pad with it, maybe an ombre ink pad, tie a bow around it, and it's just a sweet and thoughtful gift for just about anybody who likes to craft. Now it's time for the wood mounted stamps in this release. Now there were a bunch and I can't include them all in the video, but I thought you'd, I'd show you some. Here are the floral images. Of these four, I'm most excited about the antique rose stem here in the top middle. This one would be fun to take some marker and color right onto the rubber, mist it lightly with water and stamp it, and then do a no, wa no line watercolor technique with it. So you can completely fake that you colored this because it has all the detail there that you need. You don't need to do much to it. I will always be a big fan of wood mounted background stamps and here are four from this release. My favorites would be the floral on the left, the large floral and the wave pattern. That wave pattern I think would be fun to maybe um, white heat emboss it or gold heat emboss it and do rainbows in it or you can flip it upside down and make it look like it's ocean maybe with a nautical theme card. This a floral one I think would be fantastic to do a gold foiling technique with it, stamp it with glue, put gold foil on it, or you can just do a good old fashioned embossed resist. Background stamps are great for embossed resist. You can just heat emboss it maybe with white powder or clear, and then use an inking tool and inks to add color over it. I will also always like my wood, wood mounted sentiment stamps. They always stamp beautifully. Here are a few different options from this release where there are some beautiful scripts and then the basic font sentiments. Those are always good to have on hand because they work with any card that you may create. For that thank you stamp, it works great with ombre ink pads or you could stamp it with a light ink and trace it with some markers to do like a rainbow of colors. So it looks like you stamped it ombre of a rainbow of colors, but really you just traced it. Here are some other wood mounted stamps that were fun. I really like the little animals. You can make it so that they're holding all these balloons. I like that those are fine line stamps. You don't see those often, but I think they make for a really beautiful image. And then I really liked that Kelly's wood grid stamp. 
It is smaller than a note card, so if you stamped it right in the center of a note card, it fits perfectly and just allows you to create a highlight in the center of a card. So you could maybe white heat emboss this in the center of a card, do a light wash of blue watercolor over it, then stamp an image, cut it out, and put it on top. And it just adds a little bit of interest behind it. Okay, now it's time for stencils. This is the Glorious Petal stencil. I actually used this in a video a few days ago using Distressing Some Water, and I will link to that at the end of this video. So be sure to check that out. It's a technique that you can use with any stencils, and I love the detail of this particular one. Next we have the Bold Daisy. This would be fun to maybe use an embossing paste over it. Then while it's still wet, add some silver embossing powder to it. Then once that paste has dried, go ahead and heat set that silver embossing powder and you'll have a really raised silver embossed image. I think it'd be fun with this Bold Daisy stencil. For the large flower stencil, I think it would be beautiful to maybe put this on a uh, light pink cardstock and then take a dark pink distress ink, put some dark color towards the center of the flower and kind of soften your way as you work your way out. It would, could be a beautiful monochromatic card. You could maybe do a collection of cards in different colors to give as a gift. And finally, we have the Delicate Petal Stencil. I really think this would be beautiful just keeping simple, maybe tone on tone, white embossing paste on a white background, just to add some texture to a background. Next, we have the six by six background cling stamps. We have the Garden Bold Prints, which would be perfect for maybe stamping with a white pigment ink on a colored cardstock for a simple background. We also have the text background that looks like a bunch of little scattered letters. Very detailed, would be great for teacher cards, or really you could use this on pretty much any card you want. It's a very subtle pattern, so it won't be too distracting from the rest of the card. Now remember, these are six by six, so you could stamp them vertical or horizontal on a card. I have a video in a few days coming that shows using this background stamp on a card. I think it's fun to use either horizontal or vertical. I actually used it on a fish card, so I had it vertical looking like little fish bubbles. It really could go with a lot of different playful style of cards. Then we have the foliage bold prints background. This has a little bit of a distressed look to it, so it'd be great for a vintage card. You could even use it for a masculine card if you want to. I think it'd be fun to do uh, ink this up with a bunch of different shades of green ink from um, the distress ink line mist it with water and stamp it onto watercolor paper it would dry beautifully next we have the confetti bold prints this one I think would be fun to heat emboss with metallic embossing powder on a background for maybe a birthday card it would really bring a lot of pizzazz to it Okay, so now let's move on to dies. This is a paper layering star. So what you do is you die cut it and check it out. You can peel back every other piece and create like a dimensional star. Now Hero Arts has had some of these in the past and they're fun to do maybe on the top of a gift package that you create or in a tag for a gift bag. And they've come out with even more in this release. I just think these are so much fun and so very unique. There's also the paper layering mum flower. Now this one, I would kind of pull up each of the petals and maybe put a tiny little foam adhesive behind some of them so they stay popped up. And you can also do a little bit of inking to the edge of them to really make them stand out. But I think it's beautiful with just the white cardstock with a colored cardstock behind it too. Just allow a little bit of that color to show through. Along the same lines is the beautiful large lotus flower. Now one of the products that created a lot of buzz at the CHA craft show was this paper layering pineapple dye. So it's the same thing, it cuts these little pieces that add some texture to your paper. In this you could just rub with a little inking tool and some dye ink. Just rub a little ink along each of these pieces. It creates for a really unique card and I can't wait to use this one. So stay tuned because I'll do these, I'll use that in a video soon. Here are also release some more house fancy dyes. Now these have everything you need to create a three-dimensional house. So that does the cutting and the scoring. All you need to do is fold it up and add a little bit of adhesive here and there. They're pretty quick to assemble. My kids were able to do them too. They're really fun. So there is the larger house and there is also a shorter house. Now they do have the stamps that I mentioned that are little accents to add to the houses. If you wanted to, you could die cut the houses and just cut the front of the house out and add that to a card. And that way you can use all these little accents on a card also. I plan to create one of these and then put it on the top of a cupcake to give to my son's teachers. I like to spoil them with little treats now and then. 
Hero Arts also released this new, really detailed birdcage die. This is the same kind of thing. You just die cut it and then fold it up to create a really detailed birdcage. Okay, now Hero also released some more ombre ink pads. So these are all neon ink pads. So in the past, they were just their traditional colors, but this time there's the neon. These are fun because it takes no effort to create a really dynamite stamped image. All you want to do is ink up the stamp by doing a little cha-cha back and forth across the stripes of color on the ink pad. And then when you stamp it, you automatically get an ombre look. Now they are saying that you should go ahead and store these horizontally. You don't want to store these on your on the side. Just store these horizontally and you can be sure that your ink pads will last a long time. Now I did want to mention that in addition to these ombre inks, Hero Arts did release some other inks in this collection and these are the bold hybrid inks. Now I didn't want to squeeze that into this video. I felt like they should be in a separate video. I do have a video coming up soon where I use some of these inks, so stay tuned for that. So there you have it. I'm sorry I had to rush through it and it still ended up being a long video. There was just so much in this release. If you are interested in the products I talk about, they're linked below in my YouTube description or you can click here on the top left to head to my blog for more information and a giveaway. In the middle are some other videos you might like. The first shows some ombre ink techniques and the second two videos there, those show some of the products I talked about in this video in action. So be sure to watch those. I appreciate you watching and I hope you'll come back for another video soon soon.